What's going on there guys? Good afternoon, the Earth Master here on this uh, Tuesday, March 15th, 2022 date, about 12.18 p.m. California time. The latest quake shows a 2.8 earthquake on the globe there from the EMSC striking the South America region. Uh, looking at the last 24 hours of earthquake activity, uh, still shows quite a bit of uptick along the west coast and also some further movement over here around the areas where those two six pointers hit a couple days ago. But first, I'm going to go into the uh, west coast activity where we're still lighting up today, including a uh, a 3.0 earthquake over here around the let's see if we can zoom in here to the uh, Ridgecrest area, a 3.1 strike in this area, along with a couple other smaller aftershocks in this region. It has been relatively quiet in terms of the multitudes of quakes here compared to previous months. Uh, looks like we may be getting back into that uh, aftershock sequence there. Um, with that three kicking off here today, also some further activity down south as well. Uh, still seeing some movement up and down the southern part of the state, right around the San Andreas Fault Zone, also the San Jacinto Fault area, uh, and also uh, a little quarry blast out here outside of San Diego. Looks like a couple of them uh, striking up in that region. Uh, no major swarming going on. Still seeing a little bit of activity here around the Salted Sea at the uh, Brawley Seismic Zone here, the Extensional Fault Zone. Um, up here to the north, around that area where the 4.3 uh, struck here, around the Pinnacles area, uh, we're seeing still continued movement up and down this section of the San Andreas Fault, the creeping section uh, of the fault. So uh, just a couple twos and some ones continuing in that region. Could possibly see maybe another three or four. We'll have to see what it does uh, throughout the day today. Uh, some activity over here into Nevada as well. Uh, just south of Tonopah. If you notice over here, northwest of Tonopah, where we normally see our activity, nothing. Zip. Zero. Uh, so I wouldn't doubt it. we start to see possibly a three or four in this area just due to the extreme quietness uh, or another possible major uh, swarm in this region. It's just been, look at that, nothing on the map. Uh, but I've been watching this here. It goes through these uh, series of quiet spells and then it'll pop off with a three or four and then we'll get back into some aftershock sequences so watch that area pretty closely. Um, over here in Nevada, uh, further south, or the uh, Alamo area, south of there, uh, some threes kicking off there, 3.4, and a couple other smaller quakes. This area, uh, over the last 30 days, has seen a little bit of movement as well, including, let's see what their uh, magnitude was. I think they had another three prior to today. That looks like a couple twos. So this 3.4 is actually the largest in this little sequence of earthquakes here near uh uh, the Desert Valley area, of course, fault system all, uh, all throughout Nevada, quite a few uh, unnamed ones as well in that area, but uh, pretty active there in Nevada today, it looks like, over in that section. Uh, another area that's pretty active here, lighting up the board with uh, plenty of red circles, is the uh, hydrothermal operations here around the Cobb area, Cobb Mountain. A lot of uh, induced earthquakes taking place here over the last 24 hours, including a uh, Let's see what we got for magnitudes. Any t well, we got a 3.0 kicking off here. Most of them below that threshold. Uh, quite a few ones and some smaller quakes in that area. All out and about. This area looks pretty busy here. Let's see what we got out here on the satellite view. Oh, yeah, there we go. Quite a bit of uh, earthquake activity being induced out there from these hydrothermal plants. Uh, Calpine is the agency creating these and uh, creating the energy, though. Uh, to power quite a few homes around the area, but also subsequently earthquakes, right? You're going to have uh, the domino effect, no doubt, taking place there. So pretty active in that region today. Uh, Northern California, northward, pretty quiet. A little bit of activity throughout Washington, but no major quakes. Uh, Mount St. Helens, one, uh, looks like maybe two. Is there two in there? Okay, three. Well, mate, four. There we go. <laughs> they were all cluttered underneath one another. Uh, so a couple small microquakes in that area. Let's go ahead and check out the... Um, the volcanic seismicity map here at Mount St. Helens real quick, see what we got. Uh, we'll zoom into this cone here, very close to the epicenter of these little four quakes, and see what they're reporting here on the live recorded seismograph stations here over the last day or so. I know we had been seeing a little bit of activity, uh, definitely kicking up here. There's uh, at least one. That one's, uh, what do we got there? That's at about 0, 0,400 is what, zero four. Is what I'm guessing. I want to check these timestamps here. Zero four. Uh, wow. Okay. So, zero three fifty. 
Could be this one, right? That's got to be this one, a point three. So where's these other two at? Let's see here. Hold on a second. Could it be these? That's a little odd, though, that these would be bigger than this one. Uh, either way, definitely some activity kicking up here uh, in the Mount St. Helens area. I want to check the previous day. Some further activity throughout there as well, but hmm, I'm going to have to check back on that. See what's up with those... Uh, with those quakes unless they're just throwing some up there for the heck of it to make it look like they're reporting i don't know weird but uh let's see idaho some activity on the northern end sawtooth fault system near stanley and a little bit of activity over here around yellowstone national park it's weird because uh what we got a 1.4 there in the uh yellowstone area the uh, maps over here yellowstone map not showing a whole lot of activity in maple creek region uh there's some of that activity i guess being reported uh, and there's not a whole lot. There's definitely not a whole lot being reported here uh, or being recorded at all on any of these seismograph stations. In fact, it looks pretty quiet for the most part here at Yellowstone. Uh, trimmer map from last night along the Cascadia. Only nine epicenters at the very end of the Cascadia subduction zone and kind of up here working its way upwards towards the locked area, right? Of course, further you get up towards the ocean here on this map, the further upstream you go to the locked area and vice versa if it's more inland if we got tremor activity here it's deeper into the subduction zone on a cut half map uh, if you can picture that but uh, a little bit of activity upstream with that tremor yesterday so and there's no subsequent activity taking place there in northern california uh, that's being reported at least anyway of course we had uh, a couple spikes yesterday that uh, uh, i screenshotted and showed on the update last night that did not get put up here on the map and they looked like uh, probably a good two or three sized earthquakes. Nothing big, um, probably around the two range, but compared to microquake activity, it's just not, they're not showing it here. They're not showing any of it for that matter. Uh, Oklahoma, a little bit of activity throughout the Southern Plains, a beautiful area out there, no doubt. I'll be out there soon, very, very soon. A couple earthquakes here in the uh, Texas region here. What do we got out here? I know what we got out here. I've been dri I've driven out here quite a bit. Uh, it's no surprise, you know, those, there's some cumulus clouds built up out here. See all these little poppy popcorn cumulus clouds. But if you take a little closer look, what are all those little structures down there? Those are not beautiful farmhouses with with uh, chickens and cows and stuff out there in Texas. Those are, uh, uh, well, oil and gas fields, right? I'm sure wastewater injection and all that stuff playing a part in the earthquake activity we're seeing up there in the uh, Texas area right now. I'm sure this is only going to intensify as time goes on. Uh, let's see, uh, New Madrid zone, a couple earthquakes on the new on the uh, northern end, 1.2 and 1.3, eastern part of the country. Uh, got one earthquake up here in the New York region, outside of Buffalo, 2.6. I'm sure folks felt that. Uh, looks like quite a few folks did uh, report feeling that earthquake out around the region. Just some light shaking being reported. We don't see too much earthquake activity out there, but uh, it does happen, right? We do have mountains and, and uh, whatnot through Pennsylvania and portions of New York out here. So uh, just bound to uh, be faults out there. Just don't uh, see a whole lot of activity. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Puerto Rico region. Some activity over here, but nothing significant. Uh, seeing a swarm of movement here in Costa Rica area, but the... Uh, activity and not being reported on the map here from the usgs let me see if i can bring this up here and uh, show you guys this activity we're seeing quite a bit into the region of uh costa rica and up through the middle america trench um hearing some volcanoes up there uh, kicking up a little bit as well fuego uh, shown uh, some signs there last week of some unrest and uh what do we got there is a 3.1 did that show up in the uh in the uh on the map here 3.1 negative usgs not showing that uh but the emsc definitely showing something out there 3.1 1842 utc time so that's uh, uh 1842 just just about almost an hour ago um, so that's kind of a little on the odd side. USGS not reporting that uh, earthquake activity. But uh, EMSC definitely showing something there. See that earthquake out there? Looks like around the... Uh, uh, kind of hard to decipher there. Maybe 
eastern Oklahoma, maybe around Arkansas. We'll have to keep an eye on that and see. Uh, but either way, definitely quite a bit of movement here, some threes and fours. A whole lot of activity on the board when it comes to the uh, movement uh, and definitely not being reported by the USGS. I'm not for sure why they're not reporting all of that activity. Uh, quite a few uptick in activity uh, as well along the southern uh, South American continent here along the Prue-Chile Trench and New Zealand area getting in on quite a few earthquakes throughout the day today as well, including quite a few threes. USGS, we'll check them out here. They're showing, uh, well, not a whole lot there for New, Ze New Zealand area. They did show that 5.2 and a 4.9 further up north, but uh, definitely seeing a pretty good swarm of activity on North Island and down here to the south as well with quite a few threes kicking off um, today. Also, there's that push of movement. Once again, seeing some microquakes and some aftershock activity following those six pointers there a couple days ago. That activity could continue for a little while, but there's always, I remember, uh, a pretty good chance of uh, possibly seeing another larger quake in the area. That's a given following uh, all the activity, and especially in a uh, highly accumulated stress zone such as the, uh, the uh, Java Trench region, that's for sure. Uh, China, a little bit of activity couple fours haven't seen any major push over here yet uh, following that uh, those two earthquakes the other day the two six pointers uh, it's still still possible just have to see how much pressure builds up there one area that has been shown a major increase is a movement down here in the South Sandwich Islands area specifically the South Sandwich Trench southern section uh, defaulted 10 kilometer depth for the most of them uh, 35 kilometers here for this one but uh, seen quite a few fours and some fives kick off there uh, earlier this morning got to watch that zone uh, pretty closely uh, the big islands let's go ahead and check out the movement here lighten up a little bit nothing spectacular southeast uh, region showing some signs of uh, earthquake activity still and a little earthquake activity around Mauna Loa is checking out the latest update here from the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory issued this morning and there is not a whole lot of new movement uh, summit eruption uh, continued over the past 24 hours. All recent activity has been confined to the smaller active lake within the crater. Uh, summit observation summit tilt yesterday turned to a steep deflationary trend around 10 a.m. Uh, leveled off overnight and resumed slightly inflationary tilt trends this morning. Seismic data shows that the volcanic tremor is significantly reduced but ongoing this morning. So it's just kind of a just kind of an ongoing thing here that with the uh, Kilauea volcano. And the flux and the whatnot of the magma there feeding the uh, little lake and the crater. But no major changes going on there on the big island. So I'm kind of curious where that 3.1 is. I wonder if that's a new Madrid zone. Uh, it kind of looks like uh, kind of looks like maybe up here around Arkansas. And then again, it could be, we'll see. We'll see what the USGS states. But uh, either way, definitely some activity showing up there. Very active day. Also some uh, solar weather to chat about here. They had another M flare kickoff last night. Um, looks like we had M2.0 and an M1.4 from uh, from uh, the sunspots here. This flare was produced by AR2965, now rotating into the northwest quadrant. A few small spots appear to be developing towards the trailing section of this group and will be monitored. Another isolated flare, M flare, will remain possible, but still kind of low here. But like I say, when these guys put their forecasting low, things seem to pop off. Uh, so 2965 is going to be this one directly facing us. Uh, last night, this thing looked like it was starting to die down a little bit. Uh, a little, little bit amplified tonight, or uh, today it looks like. There's that little trail of activity continuing behind this main sunspot. Uh, so definitely something to watch pretty closely. Uh, solar wind, or at least coronal hole activity, looks pretty minimal. One little, or I should, pretty good sized one down here in the southern part, but that shouldn't affect us. Well, there's that 2965 sunspot. And uh, we'll see kind of what develops behind it. All right, folks, um, have a good day. Stay safe out there and uh, definitely be on guard. Still quite a bit of movement all over the globe today, and uh, especially down in the Middle America Trench. Like I say, don't let this little map here fool you. There's quite a bit of activity kicking up off the coast of Guatemala into the Middle America Trench region. Just something to keep, uh, keep your eyes on. All right, guys, stay safe. 
Might do a little storm chasing this afternoon here in Northern California. I uh, had a little bit of rain last night, nothing significant. I think we picked up a measly six hundredths of an inch of rain, just enough to uh, make me mad when I look at my car this morning. And um, yeah, there might be a little bit of instability out there this afternoon. Uh, got some good dew points and uh, some warm temperatures too. Uh, so we'll see what happens with the uh, possibility of convection this afternoon. If if uh, if we do get some storms, and I think they're worthy of live stream, I will fire them up because uh, we do a lot of storm chasing on this channel. Not only earthquake activity and volcanic and solar weather, but uh, anything earth related. And weather is no doubt earth related. So we'll chat you guys a little bit later. Have a good one. Peace out.